Good morning guys. So it is the 16th of May. It is 10:21 in the morning and I am getting ready to pack everything up. We are heading down to Yuba Lake today and we haven't been on a family vacation in two years or even just a get out of town occasion, you know, for the weekend. Um, so I'm just trying to get everything packed up. The kids are going to start getting out of school at around 2:25, and we should be on the road between 3:30 and 4. Um, it's a two-hour drive, so that should put us in about 6, 6.30, but we're also pulling our camper, so that's going to slow it down a bit. The part that has me scared the most is I haven't been on the highway in two years. I can't drive on it without wigging out, and I haven't been a passenger in a vehicle, so this is going to be pretty interesting to see what happens. We're trying to figure out, do I take a Xanax before we leave? Do I take a Xanax while we're on the road? Do I just take a buttload of NyQuil and sleep the entire drive? Because I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, so this is the disaster that is my room right now because packing everything up, going through everything, and yeah. Um, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. It's It's been a long time coming. We need it. We're going to Yellowstone in August for my husband's birthday, but, you know, that's a ways away, so... Yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on right now, and I'm just getting all of my memory cards cleaned up. I'm taking, like, five cameras, which I know is excessive, but it's because, you know, it's the first trip we've had in forever, and now my niece is living with us, so she's part of the family, and you know, I just want to get as many pictures as possible from as many different angles, because I'm done with people saying I don't want my picture taken. Okay, so I just got back from running and picking up a new memory card. I can't find one of my memory cards, so I went and just picked up a larger one because they had it on sale over at Radio Shack, and that was the closest place that I could think of. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you my first aid kit that I'm taking camping with me because the first aid kit we had in our camper we can't find, and then there's the one in my husband's work truck, but that's for work. So I went ahead and created this really quick. Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> okay, so we have baby aspirin or just low-dose aspirin because you never know when you'll, you need it, especially if somebody's having a heart attack. You want to give them one low-dose aspirin immediately. I have pain relief or acetaminophen uh, nighttime. I have allergy relief pills right here. I have Beano meltaways, and because I have colitis, these are lifesavers, so always carry those. They're anti-gas pills if you don't know what those are. We have contracts for cold and cough, so you've got day and night right there if anybody gets sick. I also picked up some nasal relief spray. Oops, there we go. Nasal relief spray for that same reason. And I got a 10-pack of Airborne in case somebody starts to feel sick. Then we've got antibacterial bandages, nasal strips, because two people are going with us that snore like mothers. And then I've got two things of gauze pads. They didn't have any larger ones at the dollar store. And then I also got different sized fabric bandages right there as well and then I have my triple antibiotic ointment and it all just fits snugly and perfectly inside this case right here I'm recording <laughs> dang it mom <laughs> I thought you were taking what the hell that is You're so like... rude I'm like <laughs> I was waiting for the flash or something god I hate you that was rude she's so mean to me He was asleep and he woke up with a spider on him. 
He can thank his dad for that. And there's a lot of traffic. Flat tire. Okay, you gotta find the right size. Turn around. Oh, it's way too big. Next one. They're just caps, honey. You pop them off. No, sweetie. Oh, no, pop the whole thing off. Yeah. Or, I think you gotta loosen a couple of them here. Too bad we don't have a patch kit. Patch kit. Colton! 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 Ridiculous. We came down that road because when we went to go camping, I don't see it. Where we went to go camping, they had no electrical hookups. We were heading to that road right there.
camper right now because when we got here and I was able to get out and walk around, I was fine. But then I sat down on the bed and I started having an anxiety attack again. <clears throat> and I'm having anxiety about taking my anxiety medication and it's just, it's ridiculous. So I just don't feel safe. I know that's what triggers it is me not feeling safe. And then especially with the tire blowing, with, well, thank God it didn't blow, but getting the hole, the puncture in it. So it's like, yeah, it's just, it's weird. And sorry, I'm yawning a lot, but if you live with anxiety, depending on the type of attack you have, because everybody's different, they take a lot out of you and you just lose all your energy and you're super, super tired and... So I'm just trying to take my mind off it. I've got Percy Jackson, the second one, on my iPad. It's the only movie that would download. I, apparently, I don't have enough memory on my iPad. Yeah, I've got nothing on my iPad. But we also have, oh, excuse me, a TV and a DVD player to watch a movie in a bit. Now we're getting the fire started, and we're going to have pork chops for dinner, and I think we're doing a pasta dish as a side dish. Um, I know I need to eat. I desperately need to eat, but... We also discovered that all the juice we bought for the trip got left at home. The guys grabbed their refreshments and forgot the rest of it. So we've got water and we have juice. Well, what's left of the Capri Suns because the kids already went through one box. So um, you think little kids drink a lot of Capri Sun? Oh no. Whew. Teenagers do.